Yo guys, what's going on? Frankie Four Things here, coming at you guys with a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get moving animated wallpapers and also wallpapers that bounce to music, so kind of music sensitive wallpapers on desktop and Mac. I, I think it works on Mac. I don't know 100% know, but I'm pretty sure it does. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, guys, so here we are on our desktop, um, on our desktop PC. This can also probably be a Mac. I don't know 100% if this works for Mac. I would say it does. But what what you want to do, you want to download a program called Steam. I'm sure you've all heard of it. Just go to their website. So it's basically Steam. Ooh, no, that's not it. Steam. Uh, no, not like that either. Sorry, guys. Steam like that. Then you just want to go to store.steampowered, and then you just want to download Steam, basically. It, it should pop up with a download page if you've never been there, but I'm sure you have. So once you've got the program installed, you want to go search up a thing called Wallpaper Engine, like this. Okay, and it should be the first one, okay? So just type in Wallpaper Engine, click it. It is currently $4, so if that's too much for you, you can probably somehow get it for free I have no idea but you know if you want to but okay so you just want to download that it costs about four dollars pretty easy once you download it it should take about a minute to download then you want to click uh, hover over your library then click on software and then it should come up with wallpaper engine if you've downloaded other softwares it should be there somewhere then you want to click on wallpaper engine then click launch Okay, then you want to press launch wallpaper engine. Launch, like that. Okay, let it load up. And exit out of Steam. Run that in the background, actually. Okay, once you're here, you can basically do which one you want. So, I'll close out of that so you can see. At the moment, I have this weird background one of a forest kind of thing. Not a forest, sorry, a beach. But at I think I might click on the DNA fra fragment, and as you can see, I can change this to whatever color I want. So if I wanted a yellow and, say, a blue, that looks really ugly. But say you wanted it, you would click like that, and then it would be like that. Personally, I like red, so I'm going to change that to red. Red and blue actually looks kind of cool. Look at that. Ooh. Okay, I might keep it on that. Okay, and then you can change the playback rate. So if you want it to be very, 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 very slow, you can have it like that. But I personally, or like you can have it middle, middle-ish. I personally love it all the way. It just makes it look cool. And then also, the cool thing is, um, you can actually get ones that beat to music. So, you can load up that there. And... Okay, I'll go into no copyright sounds because, you know, I don't want to get a copyright strike. So, NCS. NCS. Okay, let's just play this. As you see, guys, I'll actually lower that. Um, where's lowerness? So, as you can see, I'll put that on a tiny bit. It actually beats the music, which is really cool. So you guys get the point, right? It's basically an awesome software that you can download cool things. That you can change your wallpaper to whatever you want. I've even got this Matrix one. This one's really cool. I don't think you can change the scheme color on this because it will always kind of go like that. And once you're done with this program, oh, and you can also change the symbols that it shows. So if you want it to be anything, really, you can change it. Then you just press OK. Close out of that, and it'll show like the matrix. Pretty cool, huh? And I'll also show you another thing, how to get back into it. Say you want to take the wallpaper off or something. If you want to take the wallpaper off, all you need to do is go to Wallpaper Engine, right-click, and then you want to go to... Then you want to go to quit, and it will quit it to a uh, lame, boring wallpaper. Literally, who wants this? I made this wallpaper, by the way, guys. But let's be real here. Who wants this? So all you need to do, load up Steam again, launch wallpaper engine, launch. Once it launches, it will load the matrix straight away, which is pretty cool, huh? Also, they've got a big workshop thing for it so all you need to do is go onto the wallpaper engine kind of page in your library browse the workshop 
and there'll be a crap ton of stuff here. Um, if you want to go to say medieval, we'll have all cool medieval stuff, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's really easy to set up, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.